There is a disorder called electromagnetic magnetic hypersensitivity that's being described in the literature. And it's basically a clinical syndrome that's characterized by non-specific multiple organ symptoms that follow patients once they are exposed to electromagnetic fields and they're relieved once they are removed from that setting. And it's, it is very nondescript. Uh, some of the symptoms that have been described are sleep disorders, extreme fatigue, asthenia is another word for fatigue, fatigue, headaches, memory and concentration difficulties, dizziness, musculoskeletal pain, skin conditions, primarily ra uh, unusual rashes, and mood disorders. And it seems to be linked to electromagnetic fields from several sources. So mobile phone, base stations, headsets, Wi-Fi routers, fluorescent lights, power lines, and power transport, uh, transformers. I, I know there's some controversy about this and, you know, people make fun of people that are worried about electromagnetic fields. There's, you know, plenty of memes about, I guess, certain, certain people wearing aluminum hats to, you know, block their, their head from getting exposed to this, but there might be some truth behind it. What we're finding is that there are many articles suggesting that electromagnetic fields interfere with biological processes. And it kind of makes sense. Our body is comprised of electrical signals, particularly in our cardiac rhythms and firing of neurons throughout the nerve, central nervous system, peripheral nervous system. And we know that electromagnetic fields heat organic matter. We know this because we use microwaves all the time. But I guess this is starting to become a little more of a concern because we're starting to use a lot of pretty powerful electromagnetic fields in 5G networks, right? And that's you know, something that's really cool in that we can now have high speed Wi-Fi and, and cell phone and, and uh, you know, access all these cool apps and load web pages faster. But it seems that 5G network technology definitely has the potential to warm up human body tissue, right? And it's primarily because it affects the polarity of water, right? And since our bodies are comprised of a large part of water, 60 to 70%, that's, that's the concern. So it definitely does cause some form of thermal warming. And that's, that's a concern that some scientists feel is leading to biological changes.